Hey guys, I decided to make another tutorial series covering Photoshop since I've made tutorial series on Unity, 3ds Max, and all that. I thought I should cover some uh, texturing and how to create different textures, do different texture effects, uh, some shortcuts, different stuff like that. So in this tutorial we're going to be going over um, some of the basics of what make up Photoshop. I'm sure a lot of the other image editing software out there is somewhat similar, but i um, just going to go over some basics of Photoshop. So we're going to go to File New, and this is for creating new project. Um, you can set yeah your width and height for your pixels, or you can drop this down and change it to any other um, setting that you would like for changing the length of something, or your working area. So and then yeah resolution how many pixels so higher resolution the sharper the image would be if you're trying to print off something that you want to be very high quality it would probably be 300 plus resolution but for the textures that I make I just use a uh, 72 for basic so um, so for texturing like any textures in general you want to do it in powers of 2 so it would be something like uh, so we do 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and so on, just multiplying it. And that's how most textures are set up. So 512 by 512 and 256 by 256 are pretty much the ones that I use, depending on uh, how I have quality of a texture I want to make. So for this one, we'll just use 512 by 512. So we have our whole area set up. This tool will move around um, whatever image you have there. You can do different layers. So we could create a couple of different layers. And depending on which one you click on, you'll place something there. So if we hit M, we can switch to this tool. So pretty much you click, drag, release, and it'll create a box. Now we can hit G or go down here and whatever color you have selected you can go in here and adjust whatever color you want and you just click in that area and it puts it there and you can just hit M and click off of it if you want we can go to another layer we can make another box and change this color to something else purple now we can hit V and we can uh, move that around and if we wanted uh, this one to be below, you would just drag that layer below and they would switch. Now what you can also do is adjust the opacity, so how transparent an object is. See, they can start blending together and you can start seeing the other one. And if you wanted to merge these layers down, you would hit Control E and that would merge that layer down to that one. And then these are one object now. So we can go into other tools, uh, we can go into this one, so if you wanted a specific shape, you could uh, click it, just like that, or whatever you want to do. This can also be used for selecting or outlining different things. We can hit G again and we can throw color on top of there. Uh, this tool is a magic wand, you can select a certain area, so it grabbed that area, it usually sticks to one specific color. So, yeah. Uh, crop tool. So let's say um, you got a, a texture done, but you want it to be smaller, or you just you had a different image that you wanted to adjust the size without going in here and adjusting the the size of the entire canvas to be smaller. You can just click and highlight over it, and if you press Enter, it does that. So it makes it smaller automatically. Uh, dropper tool if you wanted to grab a color. So see how our color is changing down here. Um, we'll go into that t these tools a little bit later. Yeah, I want to go over those in a different tutorial. Um, the eraser tool if you want to erase, you can adjust the opacity to like a hundred, and it would like completely get rid of it more. So it'll just erase everything completely that you click on. And you can change your brush, what kind of what kind of design you want the uh, thing to uh, to erase, 
or if you're using just a normal brush you could paint on there so if you hit B that'll bring you to your brush and you can click and paint wherever um, and then there's some of these other effects we'll go over more of this stuff in a different tutorial I just wanted to go over a couple of the basics a couple of these starter ones will be basic tutorials and then we'll start getting into actually editing and creating different stuff so I hope you guys keep watching